Simon, oldest shot at the high tomorrow. They, of course, got a, a decent result on, on Tuesday night. What are you expecting from Danny Sell's side? Yeah, obviously we've done some uh, done some video work with, uh, with the new analysis guy we've, we've got in and, uh, you know, doing well at the moment, you know, won their last two, two clean sheets, so they'll come here certainly full of confidence. Um, we've watched the games, um, so we know what to expect. So yeah, it'll be a, a good test for us um, and one that we're looking forward to after our positive result last week. I could say they come here as dangerous opposition with a, with a side that'll be full of confidence, as you say, free unbeaten on the road now and just seem to be potentially picking up form at the right time. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure uh, Danny will, will hope that. Um, there were, uh, I think, one free, lost three of their last six. So, you know, um, in between, uh, but they've won their last two. So, yeah, listen, they'll be coming here looking f for a victory and obviously we'll be, we'll be hoping to put a stop to that. On to us, Maidenhead last week. Solid, resolute performance. We will pretty pleased with that. Is it about building on that tomorrow now? Yeah, I mean, we get ourselves a base to build off and that's got to be us uh, going forward, you know, from a good base. So we've done some good work in, during the week with the boys. Uh, they've been very receptive to it. So, you know, from the good foundations, we hope to uh, put in another positive performance. Obviously before your time, but every time as a club, we seem to have gone in the right direction performance-wise, it's been followed by performances sort of let, let us down and flat to deceive. What can we do to try and find that bit of consistency? Well, I think obviously your standards you know, have got to be set and we said that post game, I've seen it as well. You know, I've watched a lot of the games this season and, and managers lose their job and the boys, the next performance will be a positive one and then it seems to tail off and they revert to type and we've we've stressed that this week and we've, we've put some stuff on where, you know, we, we hope to not let that happen and, and reasons why that might happen. So, yeah, we expect our standards to be high. I mean, going forward, as I say, they, they made a, a marker, they put a marker down last week of what's expected, um, and we'll carry that on for sure. From what you've seen on the training pitch, you've been impressed with the boys' application going into this one? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, absolutely, and that's it all the time, is their application, you know, looking at it. You know, you have to apply yourself right, and if you let them standards drop, you know, that's where you get uh, negative performances or negative results. You know, the standards are not a one-off thing. They're a way of life, you know, in how you train, how you approach training, how you conduct yourself during the training, how you live your life away from the training ground. These are stuff that we keep hammering into the players about. These are the standards that you need to live your life by in order to give you the best performance, uh, the best chance of performing at the end of the week on a Saturday. I guess you won't want to give too much away, but is there a, an update from the physio room? Because we still have a number out, and I guess we do have Ben coming back after his suspension. Yeah, we've got Ben back after suspension, um, injury-wise, uh, nothing back as such yet. Uh, Michael rejoined the group today to train. Um, he'll train well over the weekend uh, with the medical guys, and uh, we look to build him into next week as well. Um, Anthony Wordsworth will probably not be available next week and we'll start building him in maybe the end of next week, Friday, into the following week. So, yeah, we're getting a few back. Um, obviously, Ben's back from fitness. In a f After the Bournemouth game, we'll have Courtney back to add some some uh, numbers to the forward areas. So, yeah, we're, so we're getting some back and, you know, some good quality players, you know, Anthony, uh, Michael and Courtney have all had... Um, decent careers to a certain degree um, and certainly will add to the group that we've got. I guess with someone like Michael who's had a couple of injuries with muscle strains it's about I guess delicately bringing him back particularly with the amount of games that are coming up in the next four weeks. Yeah you know <clears throat> I, I don't know what's gone on in the past before I was here but you know there seems to be some re-injuries um, some boys who have maybe come back and maybe the group needed them to come back quicker than they should have and they've ended up re-injuring themselves, you know, so again, I'm here to make sure that they're available long term, not for a game and out for five, you know, my job's to, uh, along with the medical team, we do a fantastic job, is to get these boys fit and keep them fit. 
um, and their training loads are important, both when to rest, but ultimately when to train hard. You know, some of them have got to catch up fitness wise. So I'd rather leave them out the, the squad as such to give them the extra intensity in the training. So when they do come back in, they're, uh, they're fit and firing and ready to go. Just lastly, after tomorrow's home game, it's three away days on the spin. Yeah. We talked about building a base last week, how nice it would be to go into those three away trips with a tiny bit more confidence and another foundation layer tomorrow. Yeah, ultimately, yeah, really looking forward to it. I say there's a lot of games coming up and some good games for us, some real good tests. So, you know, for me, it's brilliant to, to, to watch the boys in different scenarios against different teams. I said to them last week, you go and made an ed and you compete and you keep a clean sheet and you show that desire, you can go anywhere in this league and with the same attitude, you'll, you've got a good chance of keeping a clean sheet because Maiden Ed put you under a lot of pressure and asked you a lot of questions. Now, we stood up to that last week. The challenge is, can we do it again? Yeah, we go away from home. Can we go to Boreham Wood? You know, can we go to Altrinham? We will offer a different challenge. Can we go to the top of the table on the Tuesday at Sutton, one of the top teams? Uh, and do the same. You know, I was at Sutton on Tuesday night watching Sutton Torquay. And again, lots of questions will be asked of us. We've got to make sure we've got the right answers.